The clear, cool water that is Owen Spring Branch flows from Blowing Cave, a unique landscape that's part of a state natural area. It's just a nice valley floor cave, perfect habitat, undisturbed for millions of years. Today, though, there's an uneasy relationship here between nature and man. The refreshing water is tempting for those who want a break from the hot weather. People come and gather here in the summer because it's a great place to do so, but they leave too much trash in the water or contaminants. If there's oil leaks from vehicles in the parking lot, all those things can come in and contaminate the water. It's a growing problem, especially since it's one of only two places in the world where a certain small animal is clinging to existence. This cave in spring, while a relatively small area, are an important part of the overall Sequatchie Valley watershed, forever linking the quality of life of the watershed and the small animals that live here, including the Sequatchie caddis fly. Water does look up, doesn't it? Biologists Stephanie Chance and Chip Walton are well aware of the tiny animal's importance to this fragile area. The Sequatchie caddis fly is, a, is an indicator of how this unique ecosystem here at Owen Springs is so limited now throughout the Sequatchie Valley. The life cycle of the Sequatchie caddis fly begins when adults attach themselves to limbs over the water and lay eggs. With spring rains, the eggs fall into the water and the surviving caddis flies swim to the nearest pieces of wood where they attach themselves to the undersides. They gather up little sticks and rocks and they have a silk that they use to glue it all together and then they glue it to the coarser woody debris and use that as their home and then they're free swimmers so they can swim out into the creek finding more coarse woody debris. Why wood for a home? Number one, it can stay hidden, but number two, it's its food source. It uh, shreds up the uh, woody debris and makes that food available for other animals down the food chain. Here's one little guy hidden underneath the bark. Another great camouflage job by Mother Nature. It's like they're the architect, the engineer, and the general contractor all in one individual because they think up their design, they uh, design it, and then they build it. The Sequatchie caddis fly is rarely seen by most of us. Some fishermen use it for bait and biologists for research. Nonetheless, it's another great example of a small animal that's crucial to the future of some of our most important and beautiful habitat and the bigger animals that live in it. It looks like little sticks and you would never imagine there's a live animal in there that can move around and crawl and feed, but it does. It just surprises you, one of those things in nature that looks like nothing and then once you learn more about it and look deeper into what the critter does and how it lives, find out there's a whole story there that you never knew about. Outdoors groups are hoping to work together to make the Sequatchie caddis fly's future in Owen Spring a little better. Yeah, they're wanting to uh, take some of the uh, parking and slope back the grade so that any potential leaks from cars uh, doesn't enter the stream, stop the erosion of the bank that's coming in from the parking lot that's had not natural substrate look at possibly getting out the invasive species around the edges and have native species that the caddis fly uh, can utilize. Today's world seems to hold too many challenges for the Sequatchie caddis fly, but the little animal is working hard to hold its own in numbers, although in an equally endangered corner of the world. If the Sequatchie caddis fly disappears, then that shows that we're losing one of our pristine watersheds in the Sequatchie Valley. And with it only occurring in two springs, uh, that shows that this type of ecosystem is so fragile right now. I'm Alan Griggs on the wild side.